Hungry cows have different nutrition needs at different phases of their lives. Shundo recommends the use of commercial feeds as a boost for production for cows that are being milked. Sisi kama busia tuko na bahati kuwa karibu kwa mpaka ni kuwa zile ingredients za kutengeneza chakula ambayo tunasema commercial feeds. Ni kuwa hapa kwa mpaka unaweza pata rice bran, unaweza pata maize bran, unaweza pata cotton seed cake ili uweze kujitengenezea chakula yako nyumbani ambayo utalisha hawa mifugo wako na waweze kukupatia maziwa. E, ngombe wa maziwa tunamlisha kulingana na vile anatupatia maziwa. Kwa hivyo hii nyasi ya kawaida kama nepia grass na zingine tunalisha ngombe ambaye inatupatia hadi lita sita saba. Kuanzia lita saba kuendelea mbele tuna encourage wakulima waweze kununulia hawa ngombe chakula dukani kulingana na ile maziwa ama lita ambazo inaongeza juu ile ambayo tunaita challenge feeding. Kwa mfano, unaweza kama ngombe wako anakupatia lita nane ama tisa, chukua dairy meal ambayo tunanunua kwa duka ama unajitengenezea nyumbani na hizo ingredients ambayo nimetaja na uweze kumpatia kama ni kilo moja. Huyo ngombe ataongeza labda maziwa lita moja na nusu. Ongeza ikue kilo mbili, labda ataongeza another two liters. Ongeza ikue kilo tatu. Patia yeye mpaka utafika mahali ambapo hata kuwa anaongeza maziwa inamaanisha amefika potential yake. Kwa hivyo pale ambapo amefika potential maybe kama ni maximum ya 14 liters. Angalia pale kwa 14 liters what was the least amount of chakula ulimpatia. Kama ulimpatia labda kilo ine ya chakula akakupatia eh, maziwa lita 15, ukongeza kilo 5 ikabaki eh, 15, ukongeza kilo 6 ikabaki 15 inamaanisha your animal can be able to pro produce at its highest potential with 14 k 4, 4 kg. Kwa hivyo unailisha hiyo 4 kg it will be able to give you uh, the, the its maximum potential. Kitu kingine ambayo tuna encourage wakulima wakati tunalisha ni kuwa kuna different stages na different uh, pia physiological stages ya animal na pia tuna consider ili tuweze kuwalisha kitofauti. Mfano, kama ni ndama, ule ndama anahitaji kupewa maziwa ya kutosha wakati amezaliwa ili aweze kutoka chini akikua na afya mzuri na huyo ni ngombe ambayo unatengeneza for the future. Kwa hivyo hatutaki tu umnyime maziwa juu unataka kuuza na ukue unakosa kutengeneza ngombe ambaye atakupatia maziwa in future. Kitu kingine ni kuwa Ngombe ambaye ako na mimba na ngombe ambaye anatarajia kuzaa wako na special ama wataongezewa chakula especially ya duka ili mwanzo aweze kukula na kulisha ule ndama wake na pia aweze kujitengeneza kwa ile production cycle ambayo inakuja Good breeds are guaranteed to high production in dairy farming Aspiring farmers need to consult experts such as vets in order to identify breeds that are best suited to the environment and the farmer's objective. George shares with us the process used here in order to attain a good breed of cows. Ukitaka breed mzuri, una consult vet. Mimi huwa na link na vet wetu na wapadayana maybe contacts zake wana muulizia ni ngombe breed gani mzuri ambao ninaweza nikitaka kuanza ufugaji wa ngombe yenye naweza kutumia na most likely kama sisi hapa bado tunatumia AI hatujakuwa na buli yetu kwa tunatumia AI na tuna mpango wa kupata hiyo mtungi yetu tunaweza kwenda kwa identify ile breeds ambayo tunataka na to retain kwa hiyo mtungi sasa hiyo tu ni vet anaweza kuja na kutusaidia wakati ngombe inataka ndume. Hata tumeanza kuwa pia soko, watu wameanza ku, kuitaji kwetu sasa ngombe. Sababu wanaona hizi ngombe zinasaliwa hapa simekuwa tolerant. Yaani ni ngombe ambazo sasa simezoea hii area ama environment hii. Sasa anaponunua anaona hata kutana na shida mingi sana. So tumeuzi yako we, watu wachache na hata wengine wananunua bulls ambazo zinasiliwa hatuui. Tuliona sisi huko tuna, tunaangalia kama jamii ya waluya tunaona ukiua mnyama ni kama umeua. Sasa sisi huwa tuna retain. 
itakupa ashara ya kukunywa maziwa la kitu na retain hata ukiuza 20000 lakini imesaidia mtu mahali hiyo ndio kwa tunafanya sisi hapa tuui ama tutupi umbwa tuna retain hata ukiangalia hizi ndogo e, muni moja tu kike zingine ni bulls tuna discourage wakulima kutumia mambo ya bulls kwa sababu hiyo inasambaza ugonjwa kwa hivyo we encourage farmers kutumia AI kwa sababu daktari atakuja apatie ngombe wako na ngombe wako atakuwa ata served na hakutakuwa na likelihood ya ngombe A kupata ugonjwa kutokana na ngombe B For healthy livestock a set of disease prevention measures ought to be keenly observed George has set in place various measures to ensure the cows are free from pest and disease as poor health leads to a decrease in production. Tunajaribu kujikakamua na tuko na disinfectant ambao tukishamaliza kufanya cleaning huwa tuna tunanyunyisha sasa singine tunachanganya na na maji. Hizo tuko nazo ili kuzuia zile e, dudu ambazo zinaweza kuaffect mifugo yetu. Kwa tunafanya spraying ya hizi ngombe kila wiki mara moja every saturday kwa tunafanya spraying na huwa tunabadilisha madawa kwa sababu kuna vete alituambia ya kwamba mki retain dawa moja sa singine hizo kupe zinakuja zinakuwa uh, uh, resistant haziwezi ku kustahimil sa singine zinafanya nini unapuliza lakini haziwezi kukufa sasa huwa tunabadilisha sasa singine tunatumia duodip sasa singine tunatumia ectomin sasa singine tunatumia ile inaitwa poa on hivyo tu tukibadilisha baada ya maybe wiki tatu ama mwezi kutumia dawa moja ndio tunabadilisha huwa tunafanya vaccination ya ECF serikali huwa inakuwa na mpango huo na kwa sababu zetu hatuwezi kubeba kupeleka pale station penye wame central place yenye wameweka kwa tunaongea nao na wanakuja wanafanyia tu hapa. Alafu kama hizi mambo mengine ya deworming hiyo huwa tunafanya every three months. Tunafanya eh, deworming. Alafu tuko na eh, after three months tunakuwa na general routine ile ya kwa kukagua ngombe zote vet tuko na vet ambao huwa nakuja twice a month kukagua hizi ngombe but in case of emergency na tunamuita lakini kama hakuna emergency yeye huwa nakuja mara mbili kwa mwezi kukagua condition ya ngombe inaendelea namna gani kama kuna shida na ana, ana, anafanya nini anatibu kama juice it is uh, one week back amekuja akafanya hiyo ya mbungo uh, uh, kwa sababu kwa sinaenda kule chini amefanya vaccination hiyo ya, ya mbungo kupeana hiyo madawa ya verbin na zingine za booster malta vitamin hivyo zingine Dairy farming has numerous benefits to the farmer such as the use of animal manure in crop production as well as commercialization of the dairy products Abuya Farm converts the waste products from the animals to biogas which is used in the farm for purposes of power production. Kuna faida mingi kutoka kwa hii mradi wa ufugaji wa mifugo. Utapata maziwa na hata utapata mbolea pia. Hii mbolea itakusaidia tena kwa ile chakula utakuwa umepanda na hata ile nepia unaenda unaweka hii mbolea huko tena inafanya hiyo nepia inakuwa na inakuwa na afya. Mavu ya ngombe hii ambayo inatoka hapa. Tumetengeneza kagas pale uh, inatumika na hizi kinyezi ya ngombe inatusaidia baada ya wafanyakazi kuamka usiku kwa kisi ya kuni. Sasa hiyo huwa inatusaidia kwa moto kuchemsha maji wakati wa kutaka kukamua ama kama kuna emergency kutengeneza kitu haraka sasa hiyo kagazi inatusaidia pale mtaiona kutoka kwa kinyezi ya ngombe yani biogas yeah.
The market for milk is not a major challenge as almost every household utilizes this nutritious packed commodity on a daily basis. Busia County has put up cooperatives to enable farmers to acquire a sustainable market for their milk. Tuko na der na mbale ya wakulima alafu kuna zingine pia moja wamefungua hapa buzibuabu sasa kutoka na mbale wamesongesha hapa buzibuabu na kwa der tukipeleka kwa wanachukua na wengine wanachukua na 45 wengine wanachukua na 50 alafu kiuza bei ya reja reja kwa tunauza silingi 60 kwa lita Every farm requires tight security as a measure to keep off intruders. Abuya's farm manager shares with us other reasons why they're considering fencing their farm. Tumejaribu kidogo ku fence compound. But uh, still tunafikiria kama pia tunaweza fence mahali penye unit ya ngombe iko. In case mtu anakuja kuona eh, lazima awe na ruhusa na afunguliwe ndio aingie pale. Pia kuna ngombe za jirani zile local animals. Ukiendelea paka huko chini kuna zile zinaingia. Eh, kwa sababu hakuna fence. Sinaingia na siko na kupe. Singine hata wahapulizi na kupe anaweza kutoka kwa ngombe hiyo na anguke chini. Zetu sinapofika pale na ikapate kushika sasa yetu. Hiyo pia ni challenge ambayo tuko nayo. Nafikiria maybe eh, tukipata pesa as we ramp up today's show, Shadrach Shiundu shares his nuggets of wisdom on how farmers can preserve livestock feeds to be used in dry seasons. Kulima ni kuwa, wakati mvua inanyesha, tunapata ingekuwa kama hii nepe ya grass mvua ingekuwa imenyesha, hii mdamba imekuwa, imekaa hapa ingekuwa iko mrefu kabisa. Kwa hivyo tunaambia wakulima kuwa, kuwa mwerevu, Vile unaweka pesa akiba utatumia wakati fulani pia chakula tunencourage wakulima ama tunasistiza kuwa tuweze kuweka akiba ili tuweze kutumia wakati kuna kiangazi na tuna aina mbili ambayo tunatumia kuhifadhi chakula ya ngombe moja ni ile ambayo inaitwa hay na hii mostly ni sababu ya kutengeneza kutokana na nyasi kwa hivyo unakata hay unakata nyasi then you just dry under the shade then unatengeneza hizo stacks ya pili ni ile ambayo inaitwa silage it has a process ambayo inatengeneza na jua wakulima mko na maofisa nyancha ni mwenu hii silage kuna vile ofisa atakupeleka through na vile uneza tengeneza na it is one of the best uh, feeds to give your animals because wakati unaliza silage that is the best time that is the best production you will ever get from your animals kwa hivyo tuna encourage wakulima the more you feed your animal on quality feeds the more it will give you back invest in your animal in terms of feeds and it will invest back in you in giving you money thank you that's all we had for you today give us your feedback through the number on your screen and keep it here on ktn farmers tv